This could be an episode how not to make one. Okay, so this is the rear bush we're going to be looking at. It's this one here that's failed. And you can see, if I push up, you can see where it's failed. So, welcome back to Vintage Steel Garage. What we're going to do today is mold our own. I've always fancied doing this with a poly bush, so I bought some of the poly bush resin, which I'll I'll put a a link in for you if you want to buy your own and give it a try on the basis this works. It's off a Mitsubishi Outlander so it could be anything but it's off a Mitsubishi Outlander and it's a torque reaction arm and what that means is on the motor when the motor tries to twist so if this is fastened to the motor this is fastened to the body the motor tries to twist and this uh, takes out that play but it's completely knackered it's part itself is £175 so there's another reason why I want to have a go at moulding the bush myself save myself some money and I just want to have a go at doing it. So the first thing we need to do with this bush as you can see it was sort of it's mounted on a place it's mounted here and here and then it's got air gaps around there. So what I'm going to do first of all is clean this up take this out an important thing is just get the relationship of where this is obviously it's in the middle that way might not always be but it is in the middle and is it central that way so I just want to make some checks now what I, what I actually did is I just made sure that that relationship between this face here and, and the bush basically it had this thickness of shims there so that's how far it protruded out which does actually mean it actually was in the middle so what I can do now is rip this out that didn't take much ripping out but what I've got to do is clean all this up off here and get this rubber off here So I've got the outer bit off, I uh, just need to try and get more of the other bit off so I think a little bit of heat is required. Is this what Jesus meant about the burning bush? Not quite sure. Anyway there's one way of getting rid of it. Let it burn. So I've cleaned it all up now and what I'm doing here now I'm just mocking it up um, how I want to put it down so I've got this clamp down this is to give me spacing to get the actual bush positioned that way and if you can see that red in there what that is is a piece of plastic that I cut out of the ice cream tub which basically what I want to do is glue that on there which will give me that bush in the middle and um, glue that on the back there then get the bush spaced um, that orientation correctly but also exaggerated make sure it's not twisted there so there's quite a lot of things to line up uh, so I'm just going to get that, that on the back first of all with the hot glue gun but you can see that's cleaned up nicely okay so I think I've got it in the place where it's the middle so I'll just see if I can fix it on with some hot glue just tack it in a couple of places and then I'll check it right so I think I've got that glued in the middle now ugly on that side but looks like it's in the middle on this side what I want to do now is try and get this set up with the bush in the middle with the spacing correct actually this is such a tight fit in the hole I'm fairly confident actually it's not going to leak past there ha, he says all I've got to do though is make sure that this stays level to here and at the moment this is something that is not occurring uh, 
I'm just going to have to measure or just run this all the way around as a bit of a gauge. That's looking pretty level. Probably should have got Chris to print me a 3D jig, that would have been better. So what I need to do now is mix the solution up. So we'll zero that. I think we've shaken this one up of enough. Part A or part B in first, let's go for part A first. So this is just going to be a bit of a guess. So let's have a look. I'm going to go more off where it is on here. Right, I'm going to go for 50. Right, so that's on 100 there. So I'm just going to take that off there before I got it all over the scales. Right, let's see if we can pour some of this into here. Excellent, so it's, no, it's not leaking out the bottom. Oh, I know it is leaking out the bottom a little bit. So my glue gunning has not worked. Oh, it's a mitigated disaster. We've lost half of it already. Let's try putting a bit more in. There's a nice puddle on the floor. I hope I can get this off the bench when I've finished. <laughs> you want to see how much is on the floor, it's unbelievable. Hmm, okay, I think we've got what's technically called... Well, I can't even say it on the internet. A problem. It's absolutely rock hard. Now, when I was reading this out to you yesterday, I read it as polyurethane plastic resin. And as I said those words, I thought, plastic? And resin, that's rock hard. And it is, it's meant to be rubber. So, this is not going to work. This is going to have to be chipped out and redone. So, I'm showing you how not to do it, guys and girls. Uh, the next interesting thing will be if it comes off the table. So, let's try that. Now then, how rigid is this? Ah, there we go. Right, okay, back to the drawing board. Let me clean all this up, order the right stuff, and I'll see you soon. So we'll try again now we've got the right stuff. Now we've actually ordered the polyurethane rubber, not the polyurethane resin. So this, I ordered a smaller one still. So what did this cost me? This cost me £9.98. So, it's as before, it says um, measure equal volumes of A and B, mix it immediately, pour as quickly into prepared mould within one minute. Oh wow. Uh, pot life is five minutes. Close container, tightly after use, demould after 30 minutes. We've got the mould set up. We've only got pour of a minute so it's not long at all so I'm going to have to try and guess how much I need so I think I'm going to put um, I'm going to put about 30 in so we're going to pour 30 of this in and then we've got a minute to mix it so we're going to have to be pretty pretty quick so let's take this to 60 Right, so let's give this a good mix in. So we haven't got long really, so it's got a pot life of four minutes. Pour this in here.
So it's looking better and it's not oozing out everywhere. So the advantage this is telling me, if I've managed to order the right thing this time, is this is a flex of 70. Now 70 is probably about your average engine mount. Uh, the uprated ones are about 85, but I didn't want it harder than standard, I just wanted it normal. Let's leave it half an hour and come back. Well, no, let's just give it another poke. So about an hour in now, maybe a little bit longer, just thought I'd... That's pretty well fastened in. So it takes about four hours to cure fully, but I'm going to need 24 hours, so there we go. Yes, it's actually rubbery, which is what we wanted. We managed to get it right, so second time lucky. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it inside now, not this obviously, this, take this inside and just let it cure inside where it's a little bit warmer and see what that's like 24 hours later. So yes, I think we have success. So it's been 24 hours now since I cast this and I'd be pleased to say that it's set like rubber unlike the first one I did. So just to recap what we did, we bought some uh, Molecraft Black Polyflex 70, 70 sure is the hardness and this was 120 grams in these two bottles basically it was a uh, 120 grams combined to so 60 in this and 60 in this and you mix them equally equally I'll put a link in the description to below where you got them from and this was £9.98 delivered so it's pretty cheap stuff now this bush from Mitsubishi was £175 so I've saved myself there £165 if it works so let's hope it does. Now this is the rubber that had gone off. So you remember I put this in yesterday and it does seem pretty sturdy. Let's just take it out and do a bit of a destruction test on it. So you can see it's set pretty hard now. Uh, let's try cutting it with a knife. Right, that's pretty hard to cut that. It is cutting and it does look as good as the sort of rubber you'd get on your engine mounts, I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, I would want to get some miles on it, but at the moment I would say it's a success. So I'm going to fit this and see how we get on with it. Well, there we go, that's it mounted in place. And you can see the resilient mount just where the torch is on there. Um, so this is on the front edge of the actual electric motor. So there's the electric motor there and it's like a torque reaction arm at the front there. I'm going to lay it down off the jack, go for a road test and tell you how much better it is and obviously time will tell on the miles really. Um, I don't think if it's going to fail, it's failed straight away. So I've been on a road trip on the Mitsubishi Outlander having replaced that poly bush. It's now working great, probably put about 500 miles on the car, it's still nice and tight and good. So basically uh, okay, I got it wrong first time, but it's cost me, what, £10, £9 something for the resin, uh, a couple of hours of my time, and I've saved myself £175, so quids in, and I'll be making more of those bushes, hopefully with the help of Chris from All The Gear No Idea, who will make me some uh, 3D printed moulds, so I can start making some poly bushes for the Porsche 911, thanks Chris in advance, even though you don't know. Uh, please keep watching, plenty more jobs coming soon and a lot of work coming on the 9-11. Thank you.